What's up, YouTube? So, last week, I seen a dirt bike for sale on uh, Facebook. And uh, I bought it for my girlfriend. She's actually never had one. She's only had a four-wheeler. But this is a 2001 YZ80. And we kind of went through it last week and uh, did a bunch of stuff to it. Took off the, uh, the graphics and shined up the plastics as best as we could. The chain that was on it was completely rusted. Uh, so we throw a new chain with new sprockets on it. And we threw a brand new back tire because the back tire that was on it was completely bald. Uh, also put some vent hoses on the carburetor and the fuel hose. I don't like the way that fuel hose looks, but whatever. Uh, we put a brand new air filter on it. Brand new, uh, brand new spark plug on it. Uh, she did a bunch of stuff to it. We still need a uh, front master cylinder kit. I mean, this one is spongy, but it still kind of works. Uh, we ordered foot pegs for it. We also ordered brand new uh, plastics, brand new graphics for it. Uh, we're waiting on a rear chain guard for it. Uh, what else are we waiting on? Cap. Oh yeah, the gas cap. We ordered a brand new gas cap for it. What do you think? You like your dirt bike? Yeah. How much do you like it? I like it a lot. Oh, okay. And then we're uh, going to order this thing right here. What? The blue one for this. Oh, yeah, the cover. The master cylinder cover. She wants to throw a blink kit on it. But uh, this is a 2001 YZ82 stroke. Uh, she ordered a, a blue gas cap for it. Make it stand out. Make it look nice. We already changed the gear oil. Uh, cleaned out the gas tank. Clean the carburetor out. She ordered a carburetor kit too, but we didn't really need it. So I uh, avoided that because all the gaskets and stuff look good. All the jets look good. <clears throat> uh, the brake pads are good. We put brand new packing in the uh, silencer last weekend. Yeah, I mean, it's still a little dirty, but she did the best that she could. Uh, we should have power washed it. I have my own power washer too, by the way. But yeah, that uh, back tire... And that chain just uh, completely uh, looks a lot better. It was horrible. Yeah. Uh, when we pulled the rear uh, rim off with the tire and all that, this axle bolt was completely rusted. We could barely even get it out. So I, we kind of cleaned it up with some brake cleaning, some rags and whatnot. And then we threw some grease on it and uh, installed it. This nut right here is actually kind of messed up the nut is but i got a brand new nut right here that i ordered from uh, rocky mountain atv uh let me see where it's at this guy right here ordered that guy from that was like nine bucks right there just for that stupid thing but uh yeah it's coming along and it's looking a lot better than what it was but i uh, just wanted to show you guys uh what was going on front tire looks okay uh it's not too bad uh the fork seals don't even leak or nothing. I got a, I got this bike for a thousand bucks. The first thing that we actually did to the bike was a compression test and it came out to like 110, 115, which is decent. You know, I mean, it's still rideable and whatnot. Uh, I didn't check the reads on it. Uh, what else? Da, 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 da. That's basically it guys. But no, I just wanted to... Oh, we put brand new grips on it. The grips that were on it were completely trashed. Uh, the brake or the... Yeah, the front brake lever that was on it was kind of bent. But I had a spare because I'm a Yamaha guy. So I put a new one on it. Uh, also got front fork guards coming on in the mail. The mail's taking forever to get here because of COVID and whatnot. She wants to throw a brand new seat cover on it. But for a 2001, that actually looks fairly decent, man. I mean, I don't think I there's am no tears in it or nothing. So. I don't think I am because of the color of the graphics I'm getting. It'll match the graphic kit that I'm getting for that. So I probably won't get a new seat cover. Yeah, we ordered uh Blue and white uh, plastics, but the graphic kit itself is uh, black and yellow. So I'm kind of curious to see what it's going to look like. Kind of excited too. Yeah. Uh, also, 
the bolts to the plastics, some of them were missing. Uh, you can see that one up there. Uh, there's some more on the other side. Uh, this one right here, that one up there. And then there's one in here that I threw on. I had some extra, I have a bolt kit from Yamaha for the dirt bikes. So I hooked it up with all that. Uh, but that's basically it. Oh, we're waiting on a, an, uh, on a ignition cover. Uh, we ordered a Boyson. But it won't have this right here. It'll just be the actual ignition cover. But it's going to be all black. Uh, what else? We got coolant, engine ice coolant for it. We've got extra transmission gear, uh, air filter oil, uh, chain lube. We got everything that we need for this summer. We're pretty set. I spent a bunch of money on that stuff. Probably like $300 just on uh, oil and uh, supplies and stuff for the summer. So. $490 was total. Yeah, it was like $500 in parts. That's just for parts, though. That's not including oil or nothing. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, pretty excited about it, and she is too. So uh, we'll let you guys go, and uh, have a great weekend.